This is not a happy day. Many lives have been ruined, but only one was lost. Slobodan Jakolievich's. He was a husband, a father, a grandfather, and a friend. In the blink of an eye, Ian Stefan shot and killed my dad. Of this, there is no doubt. We believe in the justice process. We trust in it. We need to trust in it because that is the only thing that is helping us through this gut-wrenching time. Life has come to a standstill for us. We cannot move forward. All we want to do is live in the past. A past that has Bob in it, alive and well. Losing a loved one through homicide is one of the most traumatic experiences that an individual can face. It is an event for which no one can adequately prepare, but which leaves in its wake, tremendous emotional pain and upheaval. When someone is murdered, the death is sudden, violent, final, and incomprehensible. The loved one is no longer there. The shared plans and dreams are no longer possible. Bob was only 68 years old. If he had been sick with a terminal illness, it would have been sad. But we, but we would have been able to have closure if he passed away this way. But he did not leave this world from a terminal illness, but was shot and killed by a coward, Ian Stefan. Our family has been forever changed. We will never be the same. The only thing we can hope for is now that Ian Stefan has been charged with second degree murder, that he will ultimately be convicted of this horrific crime. While nothing can bring Bob back, knowing that this animal <coughs> is in prison will mean that justice has indeed been served. I just want to thank you to the West Palm Beach police to do their jobs. I miss my husband so much, and I don't know how I'm going to continue to live without him. <laughs> this is, did today bring some closure to you guys? It did. It did. Even hearing the news yesterday that he was being arrested. It brought a little closure to our family, a very little. He's gonna be always in our heart. He's never gonna be figured. <laughs> he was a loving husband. 